100 episodes. Not many shows make it to 100. We do it every other week. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it seems That's now. what, that's it what really it feels like. like to be fair, we have 75 shows. That's true. <laughs> so the odds are. We, <laughs> we have a lot of shows in repertory, but man, 100. <laughs> Eleanor, didn't you think we'd fire you by at least 19? I did actually, but um, no, 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 no. I think I think I would have lasted at least to twenty five, but that's when Mac died. Yes. Oh, jeez. Yes. Oh. That was a perfect time to let you go. But yeah. we we had a discussion and we decided to keep you around. Oh, I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> I mean, I remember looking at Troy, doing the thing I did, basically committing suicide, mm -hmm. and then I looked at you and I was like, No, Troy wouldn't be mean. He'll save me. And that's when I knew that it was all a lie. Troy LaValle, <laughs> your, you know, kindness. I actually saw the video we did a, two, two, three years ago, two years ago? When 17 you like, years ago. Yeah, <laughs> when you were like, you oh, You just Ellie. got your driver's license before we <laughs> shot it. <laughs> yep. And you were like, oh, Ellie, it's so nice to have you here. You light up the room. And I'm like, man, Troy, he's such a sweet man. I really like this Boston dude. <laughs> That's how I get you. Yep. Yep. And, and then, then slowly you'll learn to hate me over 24 hours. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't take long. It uh, takes up a good day. Yeah. You were never that nice to me from when, <laughs> the time we met. Troy's no, no. Well, and you we, didn't light up a room. We were, <laughs> in my defense, we you didn't met light up a room. At a giant Super Bowl victory. There would be no time you could have been happier. That's true. Well, really in my defense, you. I probably had 48 Coors Lights <laughs> probably true. and uh, thought you were a lamppost. <laughs> Based on your personality, of course. Oh, oh, oh that's hey. why he climbed up you and took his shirt off. That's right. Yes. yes. <laughs> why I put your hat. When I put your hat on my head, I thought I was that fun guy with the lampshade, like at an office party. No, it's just your hat. Now I understand the interactions I had that evening. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Grant, what do you got? Troy still tells me I light up the room, but that's because of how reflective my skin is. That's true. You're very pasty. Very. You also but, handle a lot of the lighting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we ever need to light uh, myself, I just put you and Joe, like, bouncing the light off of your faces <laughs> on TV. Human reflector boards. Yes. Yeah. Uh, although Joe looks pretty red. What are you embarrassed about tonight? Uh, just everything? Uh, or how much booze has he drank? Because you forgot your tie? I've drank zero booze. Zero booze. Zero booze. You have and seven I've drinks in front of you. have been running nonstop <laughs> since 5 p.m. You have the Andrew Yang look tonight with the no tie and the you jacket. You do. I should like the no tie and jacket. I <laughs> really it's like that. You look very handsome. Thank Unfortunately, you. he's Special also not bit. wearing any pants. Yes. Why would oh, oh, oh. I? We <laughs> weren't going to mention it because nobody can see, but let's talk about the big elephant in the room. <laughs> yeah, Joe's not wearing any pants. That's, so. that's it's a waste flattering. of pants. What? Suit, <laughs> dress, ja dress shirt, <laughs> he's like, suit jacket, <laughs> no pants. It's an old television host trick. Stop looking at the table. <laughs> no <laughs> pants. It's how you stay comfortable. The lights up here, they're so hot, but down below, you stay cool. Skid, you wearing pants over there? No, me neither. <laughs> Why didn't I get oh this memo? It's like, it's like a mech warrior pilots. <laughs> on the outside, it's like, oh, it's a big metal robot, but on the inside, they're just wearing their underwear. <laughs> well, at least they're wearing underwear. At least they're wearing underwear. Yeah. Yep. Count your blessings. <laughs> Sydney, can you believe it's been four episodes since you've been a part of this shift? Man, you've guys, earned every bit of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> all the accolades. Yeah. You're on a you're on a Count Ripken type role. <laughs> Episodes. What's, you... what's so great is I get to watch all of you run around like chickens with your heads cut off because it's like 100 episodes is such a big deal and I'm like I don't fucking care I've been here for four what do I I don't give a shit right. no I'm kidding hundreds it's super exciting and so, I've listened to all the episodes so this is a big deal I'm yeah. sorry what? Oh. <laughs> oh man quiet down lampshade <laughs> when you get to your hundredth episode is it going to be as big of a deal for you and then we're not going to have any real. 196? Well, yeah, 196. Oh, yeah, I I you got to come in like it's a big party. I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? It's four more S till 200. I absolutely will. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. Mark it down. All yep. milestones are arbitrary. You're arbitrary. Matthew is on one. Yeah, tonight. you're real sour. Guy walks in at five minutes to nine and just <laughs> pisses on our whole operation. <laughs> oh, I'm, surpri I'm surprised none of you brought it up. I felt like it was part of our tradition. But about you pissing on it or about you rolling in half, uh, half cocked <laughs> no, from pissing. some right. frat party you were at? Just reminding you all that these milestones you inflate are just arbitrary decisions and could be any number. You know what? This so is just because. Life. Yeah, Matthew. Since you missed the interviews, uh, I'm going to ask you a question in case Kreska dies. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, yes. Lay it on him. Um, what kind of character do you want to play if Kreska dies? Not what you've built, just as a backup character. What would you hope to play? Well, uh, uh, really, the the possibilities are endless because I haven't actually built my backup character. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's good. Oh, that's okay. good. This is great news. Troy, two yeah. thumbs up. Troy, your thoughts on that? Really, really <laughs> solid Matthew-esque work. <laughs> We've come. You'll learn it. At 196, you'll know what I'm talking about. I, lo- I love Matthew. Just stick with us. <laughs> Matthew-esque work. Yes. Really. My work is always impeccable. It's just not necessarily on your schedule. You know why you are you always piss on our parade? Why? Because no one has ever inflated your numerical. Ah, oh, fuck. I fucked it up. <laughs> No, but it's inflated. White claw. <laughs> really close to a joke. It was really close to a joke. It was really close. It came too late. I feel, what did I, you say? I inflated in numerical. It was a, it was a blowjob joke. Was, yeah. I'm, and I blew it. I blew the joke. If there was like, that was the real joke. If there was, was a good. digit associated with, with that, you could have used that, and then that would have been a joke. Yeah, it's nothing. But there really isn't one, and, and it wasn't. Can we start I, this kinda, over? No, yeah, this is live, huh? It's live. All right. Well, I guess we're in it to win it. Do you want to just insult me again? Just just get you get yourself, you know, going. Matthew's so small. <laughs> you, feel that, you feel better? No. Yeah, that's good. That, fine, yeah. <laughs> that really nailed it. Really, that's it. Just wow. truth. It's not so much a joke. It's just a truth. True uh, statement. Heights are just arbitrary. I'm numbers. offended by that, though. Why? Because you're all so small. Yes. I, mean, I think you guys should unite. And also, you guys are basically the same height. That's the big secret oh. here. Oh, my gosh. You're letting out. Not true. Shots fired. Not true. Fred. Troy, Fred. Fred. Troy Fred. sits Fred. on a series of folded T-shirts. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him on his high throne. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this wait, shit. Wait. For those that are listening, listening at home, Troy just actually pulled out the T-shirts he's what? sitting on. Look at these dumb shirts. We were working with somebody, and they're like, sorry, we screwed up your order. Here's some really crappy shirts that you'll never I sell. I love those shirts. Now I use them to wipe my ass. Yes, literally. <laughs> I wear them. But, you um, do. I do. It's, it's the podcast. What's they're wrong comfy. with those shirts? I don't like them. Okay. They're not. They're oh. off brand. Oh, the just fir- like Matthew. The first Troyism that happened in regards to like perfectionism or whatever. Here we go. Uh, it was the New York Live Show, two thousand whatever eighteen, um, and you know, it was just the the T-shirts had like the wrong color, but like only mm-hmm. you could see it, I think. Yes. <laughs> and you've forced. You ordered like three thousand more T-shirts. Based <laughs> on that. Sorry. Don't make Wait. mistakes, <laughs> and you won't get in trouble, Sydney. You want to see 196? You better play your cards right. That's what I'm saying. The eye contact no is mistakes. Like so intense. Just make no mistakes. I don't think I'm asking for too much out of anyone. Sure, are those make new, zero are mistakes and always guess exactly what I'm thinking. Are those new glasses? They are. Thank you for. They look great. Well, I was I hoping wanted, someone yeah. would mention it. Ray Bans. They're beautiful. They're Ray Bans. Yeah. I'm really trying to be on Troy's good side for this episode. Yeah. But here's the thing. They match the hat. He's going to browbeat you. Match the dye. We're having a good time. That's really good. Why are you wearing glasses, still? Because I can't see anything, <laughs> Eleanor. Because he's old. Because I'm well, old and aging. I'm slowly dying. <laughs> right. Not You'll feel it, too. <laughs> slowly? I'm quickly what was dying. It? You gotta, yeah, you got to tell these guys. What, it was, uh, what did you read? You came in and you, you had your glasses. I think I've, I said it on a, yeah, an episode that hasn't you're... been released yet. Wait, what? Yeah, that uh, at thirty. At thirty, yeah. I, I, begot- someone, this is we're re- retreading water because this is going to show up in a podcast. But I said somebody once uh, told me that like at thirty, your body starts to break down, and at forty, it starts to die <laughs> slowly over time. And some people it happens quicker than others, but it just slowly starts to degenerate and die. So that's what's happening to me. The I wouldn't be surprised is- if a limb just falls up. Right <laughs> the good news is it's actually twenty-five that the uh, body starts to deteriorate. Just for women. Oh, no. What? No, no. Yep. I no. don't think that's... Look at I, Ellie. Her brain's the first thing to go. <laughs> <laughs> women, <laughs> women have a longer life expectancy, what? Troy. Yeah, that's... Exactly. Not, yeah, I not Swedes. <laughs> so, look it up. <laughs> so no, factually. Look it up. Don't look it up. It's uh, factually incorrect. It I'm not even going to type it. Factually incorrect. It's, I don't need to look it up. It's a waste of time to I type it. I think you should Google it, Sydney. It's so incorrect. I won't even dare to Google. I'm not... Look at these fingers. I'm not touching the keyboard. Sweden is like Logan's run. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> at 35. Yeah, there's I'm no, there's no women over 30. Um, I'm th- over 30. <laughs> but I'm you made, made it. Out. But exactly. You made it. <laughs> made it out. Congratulations, Ellie. You made it out. You we left the just, country. We were just saying we're never going to say our ages on the podcast, and yeah. then everyone has been saying their age on this episode. Oh. Okay. Oh. <sighs> you guys done having a good time? Yeah. All right. Uh. Would you, like uh, to, would you like to know the average life ex- expectancy for Swedes? For a no. Swedish woman? For what are you... Yeah, eighty-four point nine seven years. Wow. wow. What is like? Compared to the U.S., I just want to say. For oh fun. yes. For fun. Oh, I'm excited because I uh, you moved away. You're gonna die earlier, Ellie. Stop no. celebrating. No. Nope. For, for men, it is seventy-six. Ah. And for ah. women, it's eighty-one. I'll see you in the grave, La Valley. <laughs> Not if I see you first. That's fair. You guys, you're being married no. together. I'll kill you. I guess so. <laughs> kill me. The family. Uh, yes, I requested. It's in her contract. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, guys, it's called the hell. <laughs> you gotta read that fine print, dude, right. Lorenzo. <laughs> she thought that was a really odd part of the deal. That's one of those she things really you're like, they're not gonna hold me to this, right? Oh, <laughs> <man. laughs> um, I would love to just bullshit for three hours. That's what I want to do. Uh, so let's continue to do it. I just love the idea that you make people sign contracts to be buried with you, <laughs> so you won't be alone. <laughs> we, I know, that's why. I just don't want to be alone. Is it one coffin that's like really big, no. so everyone can fit it? I haven't worked out the details. It's a mausoleum. I was oh, gonna mausoleum. say, yeah, mausoleum. big sh- tomb, big tomb. You should but all check your contracts. <laughs> some cultures have that. Um, in, in case the husband dies before the wife, she has to go down with him, like even if she's still alive. So they kill her and then buries her with. Well, I think husband. that's fair. And then they tie the string to your toe, and if you're alive in the casket, you wiggle <laughs> your toe, and then the bell rings above ground. She's a witch. <laughs> Burner. <laughs> Sorry, we don't know your history. Um, I did live in Salem for two years. Here we go, Burner. All right. Did you really? I did. That's what me and Troy have in common, Massachusetts. It's true. That's it. Again, oh. trying to get on Troy's good side, guys. Come on, really, work with me here. You're trying a little I, too hard. Okay. I can barely say <laughs> your state. Away. Your state. Mass- Massachusetts? Yeah, that's a it's hard It's just word. ass with an M. Yep. Wait, Ellie, say it. <laughs> 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 Got a laugh over there. <laughs> nice work. Uh, Mas- Crowd is loving it. Mas- Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Oh, that's so close. So that's close. close. You nailed it. It's a real tongue twister. <laughs> Just wait till you get to town names like Peabody and Worcester. It's even worse. Danvers. Bill Ricca. Oh God. Oh man. Danvers. <laughs> All right, you dopes. Okay. Yeah, Let's do this episode. Speak. I don't want to do it. This poor poor Qualo and Dax are going to die in the first I've five been, minutes. No. I was just going to bring up that one time I had a drag off of a Salem cigarette to uh, postpone the inevitable of Qualo and Dax's death. Really? Yeah. Smoking Salem's? Yeah. One time, lady shared one with me. <laughs> I don't think... Um, Her I'm life expectancy was lower, too, because of the smoking and not. But <laughs> now... Right. Your boy's been on the patch for several weeks now. Oh, oh hey! Oh, look at that. Look at old Patch Congrats, Adams my over insane. here. So so much skin. Is that yeah. Patch Adams over there? I can't see too well. <laughs> Grandpa, you see like perfectly on. now. Congrats, Grant. That's great. Thank you. Why do they put this? Why make it skin colored? Like people are going to be like, is that? Is that a de- deformed oh, patch on his body? It's, oh no, it's just the patch. It's clear. <laughs> why not make it blue? It's clear. It's oh, not, yeah. Well, I can still see it. No. What's the point? Oh, oh. Yeah. Let me get a hit of that what patch. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a piece of that. I need to chill out. Oh, God. <laughs> that removed all three of my chest hairs. Put that patch on my inner thigh. <laughs> oh, have you ever gotten a uh, wax? I don't need to, Ellie, because I have three <laughs> chest hairs. No, no I, longer. I, Zero I now. Oh, on the arm, sure. Anyway. If you're just joining us here at the Androids and Aliens uh, show, this is pretty much the show. A lot of nonsense, a little bit of goofing off, and a tiny bit of sci-fi. tiny bit of sci-fi with a side order of fun. <laughs> David Winters, how you doing tonight, buddy? Yeah, I'm doing fine. Yeah. Just fine? Yeah, David. Yeah. David Winters. Ready to kill some PCs. Yeah, man. What? We've been chatting about it. It's yeah. guaranteed death, right? It's just a question of how many we're taking with us. Yeah, it's David and I know. Like, <laughs> We're just joking. Like, <laughs> We're not joking. We're kind of betrayed. Ha- bad. Yeah, it became us Yeah, very exactly. Quickly. When yep. did that become a team? I oh. thought David was on our side. Oh, no, no. no. I, I thought you were on the side of what is right and just. Yes. Well, and as interp- or as read, it's... <laughs> as it, interpreted. Not interpreted. <laughs> as read, <laughs> literally, uh, it's, it's pretty dangerous. David, and, I gave you Swedish cinnamon buns. No, I didn't. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, those... You meant to? I yeah, those, too, those bribes I, never showed up. I totally thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> it also sounded like a murder-suicide pact. <laughs> When he first said it, he said, how many we can take with us? <laughs> yeah. 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 We're yes. being buried together with Troy. Yes. We just established oh that. God. David signed the same contract. We yeah. all signed the contract. Oh, man. But see, I saw the fine print and didn't raise and my agree- hand. And agreed to yeah. it. We went back it's and fine. forth with his lawyers and we took it out. Oh. <laughs> Here's what's going to happen. Oh, God. We're going to all jump into the imagination sphere for a second. <laughs> really close your eyes. I want you to imagine this. If you're sitting at home, close your eyes. If you're driving, close your eyes. <laughs> Just try it. Keep them closed. Oh, Troy. Listen to those cars. It's my moment, Joe. Listen to those cars whizzing by. You're fine. <laughs> Keep your eyes closed. Oh, that was a close one. It'll be all right. Keep them closed while I do this for the next four and a half minutes. And if we all make it out alive, call in. Troy. Yes. Can I open my eyes to add some sound? Okay. <laughs> Give me okay. sound of... Cars <laughs> honking their horn. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need to add that. To okay. the, that's just her. All right, shut up. <clears throat> we see the uh, empty hallway of an apartment building. Apartment buildings now they're fancy, 
or particularly run down. It has the look of a hotel that was converted into apartments after the hotel went out of business. Slowly, our eyes edge down the hallway at the speed of a Kubrick tracking shot. It's that long, slow move until we stop in front of these nondescript doors. Right up to one of them, in fact. The numbers on it look faded like it's been changed a few times. At the end of one of the hallways, the air begins to shimmer and coalesce until suddenly a large shadowy figure appears out of thin air. Like, <laughs> the figure pulls a piece of paper out of his or her, her jacket. You can't see their face, but they walk up to one of the doors and they slide the paper under it. The shadowy figure takes a step back, then disappears as quickly as it appeared. <laughs> Moments later, the door whips open, and Linnea Donovan peeks her head out, pistol at her side. She looks to the left, to the right, then returns inside, clutching a picture of her mother, just as the door shuts. The hallway's silent for a long time. Then another door opens, a few doors down, and human Dax walks out. He looks up and down the hallway, then he slips towards the end of the opposite hallway, down a shoddy-looking staircase that right, leads right to a door and then to the outside. As he hits the street, it's not long before he comes to a now familiar-looking noodle shop. But now, unlike the nightmare that Android Dax experienced on Eox. The neon sign is off. The shop is either closed or possibly out of business. We can't quite tell. Human Dax walks up to the window and looks inside, his eyes squinting against the dark. He's drawn to this place and he feels like he knows why, but he doesn't know why. And he's looking inside. Then suddenly there's this ringing sound and Human Dax winces, holding his hands against his ears to stop the pain. He starts to crumble to the ground against the pain, hits the ground, and the ringing stops, and he opens his eyes, and now he's bathed in a neon glow that wasn't there before. He looks up, and he sees that the noodle sign is buzzing, with the exception of the letter N. Oodles. He stands up and now looks into the shop, and it's a buzz with customers. Little uh, compartments on the wall opening and closing as people pay with cred sticks to get their food. He looks around in fear at the sudden change. The smell of hot ramen hits his nostrils, wafting out of the door as a customer exits and bumps into him. He looks up and into the room like he's looking for something specific, and he sees, sitting at the counter with her back to him, a female Lashunta. Quickly, Human Dax goes to the door, and as he does, he rips the doorknob off completely. There's a flash of light, and then he's back outside, standing outside of a now empty, dark storefront with this rusty old doorknob in his hands. He looks up at the door, and he's ripped the doorknob off of a building that hasn't been used in years and he grabs his head as if trying to hold something in and screams into the night sky. Oh now Matthew plays the music. <laughs> it's been there all along. This was the transition music. As we transition back to the collapse, Dax, you go through that hallway and the floor drops out. I need Qualo and Dax to roll a nearly impossible athletics check. Oh, shit. If you fail, you fall. Oh, so there's a chance we don't even fall. David, do you think there's a chance? There's a chance. Sure. It's always a chance. Do we have any bottle caps? I don't hand those out anymore. Yeah, that was in the old show. Grant's got a number here. You ready to lay it out on me? You want to see Joe's face? I'm getting a call from the banker right now. <laughs> he just gave me an offer of $35,000. My number is 
This does sound like we're listening to a game it show. It does. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Howie Mandel. Don't shake my hand. Yeah. I was way ahead of the whole coronavirus thing because <laughs> I don't touch anyone. <laughs> my number, final offer, is 20. Nah. Okay. 20 right. total. from Koala. Adjusted. Total. Taxi's Midnight Runners. The 12 on the die. Be a hero, Dax. Be a hero. Be a hero. Do it for Mac. Come on, buddy. Do it for Dax. Do Come for on, Dax. buddy. Come on, dude. It's a 31. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh. Natty 18 for a 31. Oh, please. Wow. Arr. Dax, you exit the room past this uh, this writhing swarm on the ground, and as you your feet touch the floor just outside of the doorway, back in that room with that electric arc shot throughout the room, the floor collapses. You jump to safety. <gasps> yes! Let's tell Qualo what he wants. Qualo falls. No! Qualo, no! no. Couple things are going to happen. Let's start with the damage that Qualo takes. Not terrible. Eight points of falling damage okay. as you fall 30 feet down into this hole and land prone. 30 feet? Okay. More pieces of the ceiling are falling, and Dax, you look up. Qualo, you can see straight up. It looks like the whole ceiling is going to cave in with Qualo at the bottom of a 30 foot pit. It is your turn, Qualo. What do you do? So it looks like any moment I can burrow, but only five feet at a rate of burrow five deeper, feet a minute. Deeper I'd beneath the collapse. I'd love to go, but I'd only be able to get, if it's five foot a minute, that's that's 10 rounds to go five feet. So, oh man, I should have done the math on this. I didn't even think. Five feet a minute, so a 10th of that would be six inches in this round. So you're thinking about bur burrowing even further yeah. and hoping that there's an out somewhere. Or into the side wall. Do I, how 30 feet, so I'm moving half speed. There's no way I can get out of there before it collapses. Is there a perception check I can do or anything like that to get a better sense? You have dark vision? I do. Yeah, roll, roll a perception check. Looking for any type of overhang or, or uh, something yeah. structurally sound I can stand get under or burrow if into. If there is something. Get some bouldering in there. 23. 23, okay, so uh, you can see the ceiling and it looks like you have anywhere from six to 18 seconds before this thing all comes crashing down and filling the pit. Okay, so in a total of- Not to mention burying your friends who are still in that room. Oh. God. So now at this level though, it's basically soil this deep, correct? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll say it's soil, a little bit of rock. Okay. So, Qualo is going to go with into the side of the wall, not down. Okay. Looking for any hard obtrusions or support beams or any structure that he can kind of get under. Okay, does he need to uh, stand up first? Yes. Okay, so move action, move stand action, up. stand up. And then he's just looking. It's all kind of the same around you. Yep. There's debris everywhere. It looks like everything is kind of dirt-ish. There's some foundation for sure, but everything around you is the same. There's okay. no safe spot. Okay, one second. I'm just going to do the math. So if I have about... Wait, 18 seconds. Three rounds. That's three rounds. Ballpark. Point three three three. So maximum three rounds. Um, sorry. So a third of what is a third of five? Why can't I do this right now? How uh, fast can you burrow? Three fifths. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> a third thank you. of five. Yes. Uh, why can't I do one? David doesn't 3? like your question, and neither do I. Uh, tell me what you're trying to do. I'm gonna try to tunnel with my soft bits into the side of the wall and allow my chitinous shell to take the brunt of what will fall on me because there's no way that I can get out of here otherwise. Okay. Um, let me I, ask you this. I think I get a foot. Don't worry too much change. about what's going to fall on you. If something's okay. going to fall on you, it's going to fall on you. How fast can you burrow? That's what I was trying to do the math. Oh, it's, well, yeah, it's five feet per minute. Five so. feet oh, per minute. Oh, five feet per minute. Yeah. So in, in about 18 seconds, I could get uh, a total of, uh, I believe, a third of five foot, which I think is 1.6. Yeah. Repeating. Repeating. Of course. Which is probably not enough to get into the wall. Yeah. If 
I'm just trying to give myself any circumstantial cover. This is an unusual circumstance, and I'm trying to give you any type of... Here's the situation as you see it. You're doing the math. You're like, that thing is going to come down faster than I can get through the wall. If it does come down, I might be able to bear some of the brunt of the ceiling, but I might not. And I don't know how far I go before I hit rock wall. I could be trapped under here. Right. So it doesn't seem like a possible plan. I'm going to give oh, you hold some. Hold on a second. Can I just speak yeah. to that about possible plan? Yeah. Isn't it that he goes through rock? Like yes. That's what he does. Mm -hmm. well, I can, now it could be I can it dig could through be soil. impenetrable it's bedrock. Dig. It's dig, though. So it's not rock. It's just soil. Well, no, he can Earth. dig through through stone as well, but that's only one foot per minute. Right. Which is even slower. But Can't you eat rocks? Right, but he doesn't breathe. He loves them. Even if it, Love even if we didn't see yes. him for hours, couldn't he theoretically eventually yeah. make it to the surface? Make it out of the danger zone and just theoretically, slowly... as long as he doesn't take the brunt of the thing, the weight of everything falling on him. Oh, sure, sure. That's the issue. Yeah, I'm gonna let you think about it during this quick break. Oh, oh already. <laughs> so you might, you might be able to come out of this alive. It's just the not knowing, and being taking taking yourself out of the being able to help your friends whatsoever. Now, um, you might not be thinking about that at all. You might just be thinking about self-survival at this point. Oh, Qualo's definitely thinking about helping his friends. He jumped into the swarm to try to take it away from his brand new friends. For sure, but things, shit has changed. I just don't think uh, <laughs> Qualo is, sees himself as much of a uh, climber, and I think in moments of panic, instinctual kind of lizard brain. Wets himself. Yeah, wets himself. Starts there. Flowers, all that. Right. And then I think he, he, would, he would tunnel. I think that's what he would do. All right. So you're going to begin tunneling. Yes. You tunnel for six seconds. You move one half of one rock. <laughs> Moving on to Callum. Callum, you quantum leaped, trademark, into a room that you had not even seen yet. You're the only one that even got through this door situation because that door was jammed. You're in a room, you don't even know what it looks like. You've been waiting for far too long. So excited. To see this damn room. Let me show it to you. Let me the show you what the this. The fog of war. Finally. <laughs> war is the fog. Fog of war is hell. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Da -doom, da -doom. Oh, it's two rooms. It, it is a hell. I knew it. Confer a Same conference room. Damn, it you find changed. yourself standing on a table like you're trying to get people's attention. Hey! Hey! But that's not the case. Nobody's around no, no, no. to hear me scream. Uh, yeah, so here's the situation. You see now, unlike the other rooms, with the exception of the first room that you walked into, there is dim light in this room. Dim light emanating from that sweet-ass window in front of you. Now, the window is closed. The window is probably locked. Maybe even stuck shut from all the years of this building being shifted by well, the swarm that was holding it together. Millions of years. Millions of years. You have no idea. <laughs> There's a door that you could have come through. <laughs> so fucking stupid. But right now you're just in this room and you have no idea uh, how far away you are from your friends. I would imagine at this point you don't even know where you ended up. Yeah, I don't think he. I don't think he does. What um, do you want to do? I really want to be able to do something that helps everybody else, but they're so far away that- Fuck them. No, <laughs> they're just far away. And I think it's, it's counterintuitive for me to try to go. <laughs> it doesn't make sense for Callum to try to figure out where he is, go back into the room and like try to unlock the door or something. So you know what? He is gonna, Callum's gonna go towards the window Kay. to the south and take the butt of his pistol that he got and smash the window and jump through it. Good. Wow. Oh, so it's a foregone conclusion that it breaks. Uh, it's millions of years old. It's, Joe. Really? Oh, hold on, That's hold on. probably on its last <laughs> leg. It's, yeah, surely it's worn down by yeah. now. But really, <laughs> if, it is if it's glass, it's glass. Defies, it defies everything because it should have, after millions of years. Is glass not, not, if you take the butt of a gun and you smash it into a glass anything, wouldn't it break? 
Have you ever done it to Space Glass, Sydney? Yeah. Dang it. Have you, you ever looked at the back of a the $20 oh, bill? I thought about shooting. I didn't want to waste ammo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Con- it's Callum is so He goes, he holds it, then he's like, I shouldn't waste this ammo. <laughs> no, no, that's yeah. wasteful. <laughs> You're 18 rounds. Put more I think, well, you gave me the gun. Kreska gave me the gun. No. I think it has nine bullets. No, you I, gave me the gun? I gave you the gun and something else that was a big joke in that episode. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Oh, but I remember now. 18 rounds. Oh, it has 18. I thought it had nine. Well, nine is yeah. one oh, it nine was one magazine. Load. One load. And then... It was one load. One it was, load. Uh, now oh, I remember. Load. Now I remember yeah. the joke. Sidney Callum is able to break the glass. Maybe nice. the structure falling apart has weakened it. So move action up to the window. It was the last straw. <laughs> Standard action. It was one <laughs> tap. Exactly. That window's like, I can only be pushed so far. <laughs> the window <laughs> shatters. End of your turn. A lot of glass around your feet. It's not a gimme that you're going to be able to get out of this window, but we'll deal with you in 45 minutes. Nice now work. It's Captain Kreska's turn. Captain, you see Qualo? Whoa! No, I don't. I'm in a different room. Captain, you hear Qualo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do hear that in my, in my ear. Um, Where are you? Yeah, you're outside in that hallway there. I tried to open the door, and it was jammed. It was real jammed. It was, it was NBA jammed. I was going to go with... Raspberry, boysenberry jam. <laughs> nope, NBA. Um, well, let me ask this question. <laughs> boom, boom, shakalaka. Boom, He's on fire. He's on fire. fire. You don't have a drop for that skin? I should. Oh, you should get a He's on fire. <laughs> boom, shakalaka by Bam, 101. Um, the roof is caving in. Am I right about that? The roof. The roof? <laughs> yes. The roof is on fire. The roof, <laughs> <laughs> the roof is caving in. Am I right? We don't this is so much no better alive. Yeah. Um, so... Are there openings? Like, can I see the sky? No. Can I roll a perception check? No. <laughs> no, you can't see the sky. So, so the, ro- the roof is caving in, but it's still completely solid. Chunks of roof are like chunks of the ceiling are caving in. The roof has not only the roof is only fully caved in in that first room that you were in with the swarm. So you don't the, see the, sky. The room it's just I left. chunks of ceiling and supports. Uh, what are those called? Uh, buttresses. Girders. Girders. <laughs> Beams. Beams. Not to mention girders. The Wayne's kidding? <laughs> no, the Wayne's kidding holds. The Wayne's kidding holds. The uh, for millions of years or <laughs> last a million more. Yeah, you don't know. There might have been a second floor to this building right. that's just completely defunct. Basically, whatever you want to do, no. I was going to jump jets myself through the uh, through openings Ooh. in the ceiling yeah. and then lower a rope for my friends. I imagine that's what you wanted to do. But instead, I'm going to mm. need you to be a captain here and figure All out right. a plan that works. Uh, Doctor... I could use your help with this door. Uh, and I will hold my action. Ooh. Oh, that's a coward's way. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> oh. That's insubordination. I did your help closing the door to the nail. <laughs> <laughs> Opening this door and blocking the door. Yes. <laughs> Doctor, you're down the hallway there. You went to go see if there was a way out, perhaps looping around. You see that the ceiling is already completely caved in there. Um, Kreska calls out to you, needs your help. What do you want to do? Uh, so Friss, like he scrambles, he comes tearing around this corner, uh, Rigby style, and he sees that the corridor's blocked off, and he like skids to a halt and's like tossing up pebbles, like uh, trying to stop himself. Here's the captain. It's like da, da, and he goes running back to Kreska to try to help pry open this block door. Now, can we tr- attempt this strength check together? Like, that's why like, we talked a little bit later how strength checks are so hard. Yeah, yeah. impossible. So you I can do ho- one of two things. One of you can make the check while the other aids, or you can both hold until somebody else gets up there, and looks like you could probably get three max to help on that aid. Should we try it with two, and then if a third arrives, we can... Uh... If this was really happening, I would say, let's go ahead and try it ourselves. <laughs> But given the rules of the game, prohibit us from trying a second time once this third person comes up, right? No, 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 no. not a strength check like this. Well, I'm looking at the map, and Linnea and Dax are both more than one a single move action away from this door. So my thought process was metagame. I mean, let's try. It. <laughs> yeah. There's no reason not to try. It. Let's try. It. Well, All you right. should, you should take. I'll take the check you assist. Right. I'll take it. Oh, push it open. Natural one. Mm. Nine. We're dead. Does not even budge. Okay. That's Wait. not good. That's not great. No, well, strength check. I for the thought worst. it'd be Qualo and Dax to go down. Looks like it's going to be 
Uh, everybody but Qualo and Callum. <laughs> <laughs> Potentially. Oh, um, my God. Great. <laughs> my, my job got a lot easier for the rest of the night. Can I do, before my turn ends, yeah. can I do a quick engineering check to see if there's anything that could help us achieve this goal? This on impossible next turn? strength check? For sure. I would also like to do that. Can I do that? Yeah. Uh, 33. 33. 21. You feel like if you were stronger, <laughs> you would be able to get it down. Oh. That's the thing. It's the la You're lacking strength, I see. overall strength. That was the shortfall. How, that could, how could we have missed that simple fact? Uh, yeah. But as a doctor, you feel like if you were stronger, <laughs> then you'd be all set. Said, should have got my fourth PhD in push ups. Out of curiosity, <laughs> yes. since we're probably doomed, mm. what's the DC of the strength check? Uh, Just I, to see how impossible it really is. I will say it is ridiculously high. Why? I Why did they do this to I us? I think they just wanted to end the adventure in book four. They could just not publish any more books. <laughs> <laughs> Are all, all the, the last two books, is it just like 30 pages of ha 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 <laughs> It's all blank. <laughs> and we, they sent it to the printer's blank. They're like, they're all going to die in C7. And is this door made of some sort of alloy, or is it, it isn't wooden by any According chance, to the it? strength checked, it is a boulder. Uh... It is oh. a giant, Im immovable boulder. Uh, so no, I mean, it's just, it's its bad news bears. Dave, why do you think it's so high? Because it's getting late in the adventure, and we need to kill some characters. Wow. But, ki but this would kill all of us. Ye yeah. Yes. Well, no, why? that's, <laughs> like you said in the book, it's a good opportunity <laughs> to, right, to right. wipe <laughs> the slate clean. <laughs> it's, okay, it's just a podcast. Skin is so furious. <laughs> he just knocked over Ellie's mic. Who cares anymore? <laughs> 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 the hell of the show, the hell of the well, book. I'm so much on the edge, so anything, any small thing will get me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, <laughs> hold on to this bomb. Like, no, I, don't. Okay. I don't see us opening this door. What other options do we have? Uh, wow, Friss is going to rack his ratty brains. And could, could we think. blast our way out through the walls, do you think? Yeah, I mean, obviously I'm being facetious with you, but if you had some sort of artillery laser, something with the penetrating quality, that would help bypass the hardness of these walls. The or, walls might be easier to get through than the door. Or, Dax, maybe we could get Dax, Dax. Hey, with the artillery laser. Maybe it could blow a hole through. Dax, are you reading us? Uh, are you oh, there? wait a minute. I have explosives. Yes, you do, and a detonator. I do. A detonator? Yes. <laughs> He's holding a thermal detonator. He does. Hey. Well, all right. That's my plan for next turn. That is a hell of a plan. I plan to support you. It <laughs> now goes on to Linnea's turn. Linnea, you hear uh, Kreska and Frisco. Ugh. And that's all that happens. We you said see... other things, too. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew. Owie. No. You see Koala. Whoa. Koala's gone. <laughs> oh. I... Looks like if you didn't know better, Dax pushed him. Yeah. Into the open hole. It all happens so fast, it's hard to tell. I figured. That's some shady shit. I figured. Um, I think I'm going to roll a perception check to see if there's any form of, I don't know, escape plan through the roof. Like, you know, like, um, yeah. I'll yeah, sure. Uh, 20. No. <laughs> no, there's well. not. There's no. <laughs> this is so. No I, way I, out I, the room. So, so bad. Uh, I like actually, how 22, actually, 22. Oh, well, then, no. <laughs> No, there's right. no way out. I uh, like how in a TPK situation, you're both mocking us and sowing discord. Yes. <laughs> I, I have a lot going on over here. <laughs> <laughs> you know how hard it is to run this, mock you, and sow discord? <laughs> and turn you on each other? Um, it's Linnea, exhausting. Linnea is going to look at uh, look to Dax. Dax, are you all right? I, I just made it, but Qualo has fallen. Qualo! Don't I, go through that wall. It will never work. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can hear you through the commune, Dex. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we have to... Was that digging? <laughs> yep. Qualo <laughs> out. <laughs> He's like a Pokemon. Qualo, 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 qualo. I see no direct path out of here, Linnea. We have to, we have to get out of here. Captain, Captain, can you hear me? What, what's your orders? We must find a way to blast through the walls. Dax, your artillery laser would come in handy just about now. It would if I had an artillery laser. <laughs> Wait, I thought, I thought you did. <laughs> it's an artillery gun. I used to have an artillery laser, oh. but it is on Castroville. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you did. Uh, I now have an extremely high-powered and effective plasma array, which will do great damage to organic beings, but not so much. 
to a wall. Would a would a would a laser? Oh my god! I left it on. To put it Castro Val. To put it simply, like two bucks a cup. Castro Val. Would would a laser rifle work? No. Nope. Uh, The doctor has explosives. If you have grenades, any any of you have any kind of explosive device? Uh, No, Captain. I am unfortunately uh, just now only down two smoke grenades. (laughs) Try it. (laughs) Oh, I can't find the wall. Wait. wait. (laughs) It appears I have a shot grenade on my belt. (laughs) Also useless. All right, for, uh, for the hell. Nothing like surrounding yourself with the best and the brightest. <laughs> My sniper rifle could hit the door from very far away. <laughs> <laughs> but as we are in, only in a hallway, I find this irrelevant. But if we are able to somehow affect our escape, we could get far away and then take revenge on the door from a distance. Precisely, I, Dr. Fritz. I also have a sniper rifle and could participate in this revenge. Yes. I'm, well, Let's get far I'm totally on board with this plan. <laughs> Let's get far from here so we can shoot the door with the sniper rifle. Time. Agreed. Everyone agreed. Perhaps if you <laughs> jump down the pit where Qualo was, uh, that's you not could create even greater distance. That's kind of looking Qualo like the best option. Qualo seems to be in the best situation right now. <laughs> Throw the sniper rifles to Qualo. He'll know what to do. <laughs> Qualo! Look up! Runner, 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 <laughs> dropping down to the ceiling. <laughs> Linnea, what do you want to do? I'm sweating. Uh, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run over. But the thing is, I never know this. Uh, I never learned this rule for some reason. But can I move? This rule? This rule that I'm going to say right now. I'm listening. Can I move and stand on the same tile as Kreska? I can't, right? You can't, no. So I can't, I can't attempt to try to break through that door. Can you get past Kreska? Yes. No. The, oh, yeah, that's 35. But then that's 35 feet. I did the, the math. Mm. I think. One. Five, two, ten, yes. fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. Yeah. Uh, you could bull rush Kreska into the door. Yeah. <laughs> you could try. <laughs> You, could should, you, should, you should let her do it. I should. Yeah. yeah. Let her do it and attempt it. Yeah. Ooh, David. David raises an interesting point that I completely disagree with. <laughs> why can't she bull? Why can't <laughs> she bull rush me? Troy? No, no. She can. She can get up there. She just. You got a double move if you want to get one space past. Uh, why can't she shove me out of the way? Um, are you stronger than Kreska? No, she can. She can move thirty-five feet. That's thirty-five feet. Is she? Is her normal movement speed thirty-five? Yes. Oh. Oh, I did. Oh shit! I thought it was thirty. Nope, Sorry. Thirty-five. Well, then by <laughs> all means, Linnea. <laughs> what? Glad, Get I up know, there. glad I know your character. Yes. Thank <laughs> you, wow. David. Where would you be without David? Shots <laughs> fired. And you thought he was. This is why we send him our sheets. <laughs> exactly, and cinnamon buns. So and you want to get there and just? <laughs> but you haven't. You okay, want to again? <laughs> no cinnamon Someday. buns. Someday. No she hasn't given them to any of us. <laughs> I know. I know. She keeps talking about them. One what is your strength bonus? Uh, five. Okay. Roll a natural 20, and you can open this door. You roll a natural mother 20. Watch my fucking 20. If you roll this, it's going to be amazing. I am going to knock my mic over. 13. <sighs> All right. That's less. So with an 18, boom! That looked like it actually moved, unlike uh, the attempt by Kreska and Friss, but it still stands. And I wasn't aided soft. by them? Oh, they just went. Right. There they went, yes. Had they softened it up, maybe. Moving right along, it's Dax's turn. Dax, you effectively killed Qualo, as far as you know, by standing on that rickety floor. Jumping out of the way at the last minute, Qualo fell to his death. <laughs> what do you want to do? I can see him. I can see him burrowing through the wall. He We've talked on the talking commune. We've been <laughs> talking. I've thrown him multiple you know, That's what uh, his, ra- his species does when they die. They burrow and... Talk? And just and talk, yes. <laughs> it's like, like pooping during rigor mortis. They talk incessantly, <laughs> and they say, I'm fine, I'm alive, yeah, I'm no, fine. That's what, his body's been dead for minutes. He's just still tunneling. <laughs> yes, that's what they do. They, it's just it's a very tunneling. strange phenomenon that the Korlu do. They they die, they burrow, and they say, I'm fine. It's really, <laughs> it's really confusing. <laughs> I, but you got to know Korlu's. I desperately, Culture check. I desperately leave that I could leave my shell right now like a hermit crab and oh. just like leave it behind, <laughs> like with all the armor on it, and yeah. just this tiny little qualo comes out. With it's, just, eyes. it's a little creepy slug. Kind of mm. gross though. Hold on a second, buddy. Without the shell. I'll hold. Hold. You're kind of gross. Aww. Yeah. What are you thinking? What's your strength bonus? Plus three. So how the hell was it a natural twenty I had to roll? If I have a plus five, Mr. LaValley, cheat, master. What was? I don't understand where you're coming from. Yeah, I don't no. either, but I want to see her dig her way out. <laughs> Not unlike Qualo. 
After death. Kreska didn't make the door budge. I, no, I know. Because let's say, just for the sake of argument, it's DC 25. Like, that's what I'm saying. So why, oh, so. I, if I had aided Kreska. Oh, uh, okay. Because it's, I was like, then there would never have been. Oh, well, he did say it was impossible. <laughs> Instead, we failed and uh, doomed us all. Yeah. Yes. Because yes. what, Matthew rolled a nine? I rolled yeah, a nine. Yeah, so there was maybe no chance. Dax can help. Dax, what do you want to do? <laughs> we have established that none of our... <laughs> Weaponry can affect this situation. So no, no, uh, no. I've needs. got two questions that I'll I think I would know as as Dax. Okay. One, the plasma array, the yellow star plasma array is not going to do anything, right? It does not have the artillery property. It just is fire damage and and uh, yeah, fire and electricity. Fire and electricity. Those so are the, any properties? Does it have any fun properties? No, it just uh, no. It just uh, it has automatic. So like I can unload it all and do like a. Spread damage to a mm. bunch of people. You really need something but with the penetrating property. The penetr oh, a sniper <laughs> rifle. No, it doesn't, does it? Oh, Ellie likes that one. Um, <laughs> I, um, <laughs> so, they, they don't need penetrating. Though. But, it would but help. yeah, that's what I'm it asking. Would help. It would like, help. like, if you had a high enough roll, couldn't you damage it? Yes. Isn't for the sure. hardness is bypassable? You to, yes, you have to get through the hardness. Though. Okay, but it's just going to be a high roll. <laughs> yeah. But I, I have a. It does a lot of damage. So, Captain, please step aside. Allow me to try to shoot the door. I will step aside. You um, know, I, I'm going to help you out with this because the the place is falling apart. So just like Callum was able to, uh, you know, break the glass easily, maybe the walls have a little. Half a point less in hardness. We'll see. Oh. Shoot the wall. But the doors are stronger than ever. Um, oh. Okay. Shoot. And is that something we could pick up from, like, Friss's engineering check or something, that the walls are weaker than the doors? Yeah, the walls would be weaker than the doors because the walls are starting to, to break down. Ah. But it's okay. not like you can just ram into them. No, no, I understand. I guess you could, but. But, but perhaps shooting them. Yeah. I'm might looking. Work. Uh, what do you think? These are uh, steel walls? Uh, yeah. Okay. I got a break, DC. Million-year-old okay. steel. You're never going to hit that, uh, but I have hardness and hit points. Okay. Um, all right. I, I'm at a weird angle here, so I can't... I, I, I could try to shoot an outer wall. Yeah, I can't do anything else this round, so what's the difference? Okay. So Dax is going to step up. He's going to point directly north and just fire at that wall. At this wall up here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because Kresk is right in front of him, blocking the door, and he... Whatever. Gets the sense that that might be a better place. Roll to attack. AC5. Just wrong. Don't roll a natural AC5, one. AC5. Natty 19. Of okay. course. Oh, wow. And, uh, and then... Roll damage. Let's do... Let's do some DiMaggio. Uh, I need a good one on this. I need a good one on this. That's 20. 20. Does no damage, right? Assuming normal <laughs> hardness. Yeah. Yes. The hardness of the wall is okay. 20. <laughs> the hardness is normal after a million years? 21. The, the furniture. 21. Have you seen the furniture in this yeah. place? <laughs> so Dax will turn. Yeah. Chip, Fi chip. Firing is ineffective, Captain. Chips some stuff off the wall. It's ugly. Um, moving we, right along. We must attempt a, a combined, our combined strength to get through the door. Do you think an inner wall, sorry to interrupt, do you think an inner wall would be weaker than an outer wall? Yeah, but an inner wall is... Yeah. I'm just thinking of this one to the south. Um, we can get to the window. If you can get saying. to the window from we this don't, one. We don't... I would say it's you don't know tough to there. know. Yeah, how would you know? Yeah, okay. I'm, yeah, no, given the, the collapse here, I'm guessing that at least much of the room is also filled with rubble. That's a good point. And that's metagaming because you don't know what's in that room. It could be... No, but I have been around the corner and I would have been able to see True. like... How we, have, we have the doctor's explosives. Yeah, I'm. I'm just. Yes. Meanwhile, while you guys are doing all this, like Friss is like fishing through putting the, the wires together, putting a plastic yeah, explosive the detonator, <laughs> a potato. <laughs> Where yeah. is Callum? <laughs> I'm outside. Oh wait, I have a. Do I have a comm unit? Yeah. Uh, uh, I have a suit. Uh, maybe. Is it in my suit? Yeah. Yeah. It's a separate item on the list, actually. A personal comm. Is unit. it on your character sheet? It's not on your character no, sheet. No, because I was not. gifted just, the suit. Just lie. Uh, I talk just about, it's, uh, hold on. Just uh, uh, personal comm unit is something different than your armor. Yeah. No, I don't have one. Oh, that uh, was... You should have bought one. I mean, so. even if you... <laughs> They're extremely affordable in this time. Day Seven day. credits. You're right. Seven. I should have bought one. Didn't we talk credits. about my backstory? Uh, Dax and Callum. <laughs> yes, yes, I should have bought one. It appears but, as if the boy has died. I don't see a single person in this world without some sort of telecommunication device. Well, she doesn't have one. <laughs> Dax is like, Callum, sound off. <laughs> Nothing. He's the only Static. teen in the packed worlds without a cell phone. <laughs> oh. I wasn't allowed. My, I wasn't allowed. My, my parents said it was bad for your brain. 16th birthday. I thought your parents were dead. Uh, <laughs> Shut up. Shut the fuck up. It is Qualo's turn. Qualo, you're just a little yep. more in. Uh, 
right now I should be approximately thirteen point three repeating inches into the wall. <laughs> so one foot in. Quala, quala, quala. Kunk, 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 kunk. More of the ceiling is falling around you. Bad news. I should say, too, that part of why I didn't go up is because it probably would have taken me that amount of time if I made all my athletics checks, and then the ceiling still would have collapsed. Dude, I totally get it. You're the only one that has a possible chance of getting out of that situation right. uh, unless you can guaranteed make those checks on right. the climb. That's the thing. is, climb checks are brutal. Hey, David. Yes. I have a question for you. Uh-huh. Uh, do batteries in this world have explosive properties? Mm. If perhaps, say, targeted with uh, laser weapons? I think you're better off going with Friss's explosives, because those technically behave like a grenade. Yeah, I'm, re- I'm not really sure why we're still arguing about this. Yeah, no, no. I'm, I'm finding we're ways to enhance, your turn. Okay. We're enhance killing the airtime. explosion. <laughs> okay. Kreska, you're up, so you can ask that dumb question to Friss <laughs> if you want. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on the – I'm going to wait and work on the door with Dax – if he he's gonna come to the room and have and let Frisk blow up the wall. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is there anything I can do to help with the explosion? Like offer you? That's what I was saying. Like if I give you more batteries, give you batteries to aid. I mean, I don't know. Stop bothering me! I'm trying to put an explosive together. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, time is short. <laughs> blow up the wall, please. All right, all right. So you hold your action. I'll hold for yeah. now and let him try. Can I chime in, though? Please, Just, please. Uh, a little bit of... I, I don't want to play anyone's character for them, but Friss would no, know... Play, play our characters. Friss would <laughs> know please. that arming explosives takes a bit of time. It actually requires an engineering check and a whole minute. Oh, no. Oh, a minute. To connect, oh. The, de- to connect the detonator. <laughs> Great. So yeah, but... The yeah. explosives are explosive. Let's just skip that part. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I just want to put that out there. Okay. Can we just shoot them? Yeah, is there any other way to detonate explosives other than using a detonator? I would think you could shoot them, okay. but that's up to Troy. <laughs> yeah. His show. Yeah. His I, I, I have no problem with that. It just might cause some friendly fire. And then you've got to move into position. Or Frisk just does it, or he says it tells everybody to hold, and you all move. Why don't you guys think about it? And then Dax shoots it. During this next ad break. Oh. <sighs> I'm just going to sit here. Oh. Let you guys talk it out. Okay. Kreska has effectively held her action. Right. We can make a pl- we can try to make a plan right now. Take a plan. What do you want to do, Doctor? Well, I was thinking that chunk, 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 chunk. Uh, I would run back, knowing that it would take that long to arm the detonator. Run back into the room with where Qualo fell into the hole. Jump over the pit and go into that room beyond it. Place the explosives by that outer wall fire at the explosives and then make a hole there so we can go right out. The room not? where uh, the you were fighting the swarm has already fully collapsed. Oh, oh, it has. Yeah. Do we Which not think this northern swarms. wall is an outer wall? The northern wall that Dax just shot at? Yeah. Uh, it's possible. But we don't know for sure. You don't know for sure, but, you know... Uh, but wouldn't we have seen... When we flew over, like, wouldn't we have seen, like, get an idea of... What's yeah, on the other you side? feel like it's, it's quite possible. You just know it's going to be... Like Callum said, it's going to be easier to, most likely easier to break the interior walls than it is the exterior walls. All right. Um, then, all right. Then Friss is, he is going to head down to the southeastern corner, uh, the exterior of this little office room here, place the explosives there. That is a definite, um, definite possibility. Just actually, just drop them and then run back. Okay. Uh, um, I'll take my action then. Okay. I'll draw my laser pistol and. Oh wait, did I give it to Callum? No. Yeah. Linnea yeah. gave me. Here. Sorry, I was. Semi, yeah. Semi I'll yes. draw my. I'll draw my laser pistol if we th- if we think this is going to make the explosives explode. I'm going to draw my laser pistol. Troy. And shoot them. Okay. Actually, I just I want to make sure that that isn't a load bearing wall before I do that. <laughs> <laughs> do my another engineering. Yeah, check absolutely. To so going to bring the whole ceiling down on top of us? Uh, that's a natural 20. So You think you'll be fine uh, as long as the blast uh, blows up the way it's supposed to. As long as Kreska doesn't roll a natural one or something, okay. you should be fine. And so Friss, like, he runs up, like, drops explosives and runs back past him with his hands over his head. It's like, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it! Kreska <laughs> brings out her gun. Fire stand, in the hole. Stand back. What's the AC? What's, what am I shooting at? AC5? AC5. 
<laughs> Watch him miss. Natty 16. Ooh. Yeah, there you go. There you go, Chris. <laughs> what kind of damage are we talking here? Uh, it is, oh God, gotta get to that screen. What's it, 1d6 or 1d4? 1, uh, 1d4 plus three. To damage explosives. Uh, six points of damage. Six points of damage on the wall. On the bomb. Explosives. On the bomb. To trigger the explosives. I'm shooting the yeah. bomb. Oh, right. Yeah, no. You trigger the explosives. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I was like, six points of damage? Or... Everything's fine. Uh, all right, so then how many points of... Uh, what? What is the... Yeah, what is this explosion radius? How much damage does it do? It, it basically says it behaves like a grenade. Okay. But what's the roll? I, yes, that's the problem. It's not so much specified. It's kind of a story explosive. Well, <laughs> enough. It's a narrative to explosion. A hole. <laughs> <laughs> to be a hole or not. Exactly. To be a hole. Okay. Uh, yeah, it just says explosives have the uh -oh, same price hey, effect and weight as grenades. Uh, uh, if you successfully set an explosive on a stationary object, uh, the explosive damage ignores half the object's hardness. Well, that's important. So that helps. Yeah. Uh, so it's a question of like what class of grenade do you want to consider this as? Which I see. Right. Okay. Oh, is that a frag grenade? What is that? Frag. It's a plastic explosive. Right. So. C4, I don't think, is in the player's guide, though. I will say, it explodes, and half of the wall has started to crack open. Small enough for maybe Frist to fit through. Oh! But you'll need a second explosive to finish off the wall. Okay. Okay. Which none of us have. Right. Well, I do have, I realized here, I do have an incendiary grenade, which isn't frag, so I didn't think it would work against the wall, but it does have the explode property. I mean, so does the shock one. Well, couldn't you shoot at a weakened wall and then actually hit the hardness? But it, I don't think the hardness has changed. Oh. You know? No, there's no reason to think it hasn't. Okay. I mean, it's worth a try. Life or death, I'll try anything. I'm just trying to figure out what would be most effective. And unfortunately, Dax, is he's not smart enough to really know. He's not, you know, he doesn't have that level of engineering. So anyway, Frisk what could if, probably inform him, but what if we shoved a uh, a, tu a metal tube of pressured uh, coolant and shot <laughs> that open? Oh, a Bangalore! Oh. Yeah, and make it essentially a pipe bomb. Now we're talking a fire extinguisher, <laughs> perhaps. This is some MacGyver. That just sounds cool enough to work. There's no reason to think that wouldn't work. Why not? What do you have on you? What a fire extinguisher. He does. So he oh, used it in a really yes. cool way with <laughs> you Fresca. Have that Fresca fire held on. I have, listen, at a, one point I was a ship's engineer. I had several fire extinguishers <laughs> on me. <laughs> you got a fire extinguisher on you. Uh, Frisk has already weakened the wall. A Dex. move like that just might work. How long will it take, though? Dax, one of my fire extinguishers. Perhaps. <laughs> I love that you walk around, clank, <laughs> clank, 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 clank with look, three or four fire just extinguishers. Just look at the at the mechanic uh, art. They're carrying fire extinguishers. Yeah, yeah. The fires on ships are deadly. They're bad news. Okay, so what are you saying? Take it off your belt. Take it off and set it in the in the crack and then shoot it. Well, it is Linnea's turn. All right. Linnea. I think. It Wait, did we skip Callum's turn? Yes. I had an idea. Did we skip oh. Callister? Yeah, I did we skip Callister. There, there's something else to contribute to. A little birdie pointed out to me that um, all suits of armor, level one or higher, have an integrated comm unit. Oh. oh. Good to know. Tweet, Thank tweet. You. I want my seven credits back. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Callum, I, it is your turn. I don't know how I skipped you. So uh, let's just retcon and say that Callum asks, where is everybody? We're trapped inside. We're a corridor. We can't open it. Where are you? A room. Can you get out of the building? I smashed a window. Get out. Okay. Callum doesn't get out. Instead, Ooh. Callum runs back out uh, through this doorway of the room that he ended up in trying wouldn't, to... Wouldn't you know? Uh, well, no, no. I don't... That door's stuck, too. Oh, oh, son of a... How stuck? stuck in the way that had you opened it before you went through the rooms it would have remained open and unstuck because you guys didn't explore that room it got stuck during the collapse it looks to be not as stuck as the other door pretty stuck wait a minute i don't think callum's strong enough 
Can I ask a question here? Yes. Is it the question you're going to ask? I think I think we're thinking the same question. Why are the doors closed? Why are the doors closed? Well, we never went in this room, so this one actually makes sense. That one would be closed. The one that Kreska is standing in no, front of. I'm talking we walked about through. the main doors that are going to kill the whole party. Didn't we open those doors? Yes. Go through those doors. <laughs> Troy had Did said. Did somebody say we closed them? The doors down here. Those are open. What about that one? This door is open. Yep. This door is not. Troy said that during the collapse, we asked this in the last episode. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. Uh, Troy oh. said yeah. during the collapse, it closed. The and door got closed stuck. itself and got no, shut. No, you never stuck. open the door in front of Callum. We're not talking about the, I'm not sorry, the door no, in front no, of no. Callum. The one that's going to kill us. The one well, didn't we go <laughs> through that door? Yes, but it does slam itself shut. Okay. Yeah, that it's, one. I'm that sorry, is what that Troy one said. Very explicit. Shut. Okay. All, All right. right. Well, um, I had an idea. I'll just tell you guys. I had the idea to go back through that door and do a spell that I have. Um, into the wall, go and on. the spell is Entropic Grasp. And what I would do is decay the wall into rust. It would fall to dust so that you'd have an easier way to oh. get out. But it doesn't make any sense. I love that idea. Because yeah. I don't have enough strength to get through the door. Can so you I'd, do that to a door? I can, but what is the, the point then? Because you can only cast it once. I can only cast it. Well, mm, wait, hold on. Hmm. Can I cast... This is a David question. I'm Ugh. just not sure because of Starfinder rules. Can I cast Entropic Grasp? grasp twice if I use my second, third level spell slot? Um, yes. Or yes, yes. You are a spontaneous caster, so... You, I don't need to memorize it. Okay. But anything. it has to be that same level of spell slot. Copy that. Okay. So... <laughs> <laughs> but then that's two rounds. <laughs> and then you gotta yeah. move. And then I have to get Just, back out through the window. Yeah. Fuck. Ugh. Guys... Ellie, look me in the eyes. <laughs> tell me. It's not me. Tell me what I. I'm gonna, say, <laughs> I'm gonna say what you said before. Tell me what I should do. Just tell me what to do. Callum. You're saying this in the communicator. Too. Okay, yeah, Callum. Callum. Let's say Callum relays this yeah. actually, and he's like, "Tell me what to do. I don't." Callum, get out of here. Get out of here now. We'll see you outside. Bluff check. <laughs> Ooh. Natural fifteen Ooh. for a total twenty. I think you believe her. But I don't know. <laughs> I'm not playing your character. You sound just like Troy. Um, I like that you, you rolled it and then gave yourself the bonus <laughs> of, I think you believe me. <laughs> That's I, a pretty good roll. Um, that is a good roll. It's a very good roll. God, this sucks. Come on. It doesn't make any sense. He wouldn't do that. Like, he, it's too... It's too much time. I don't think it makes any sense. And with all these rocks collapsed. Oh, wait. Did more rocks collapse? Yes. Yes. Fuck. Okay. Troy is slowly creeping 14, it down the hallway. He's a 14-year-old he's kid. Idiot. He's an idiot. No, but also like... Troy or Cal? Like, he's now <laughs> been... Well, that's... No, yeah. Troy is a 14-year-old kid. He's a 14-year-old kid. Idiot. Look at him. Hi, guys. <laughs> Can I play with the characters? <laughs> Can I kill now them all? I, actually, I kill now them all. my heart did. Troy is burning ants yeah. on the sidewalk with a magnifying glass. Take that ant. To be fair, you're a 14-year-old kid who have just been told by first the captain and then the one person who's been bonding with him to be like, get out of here. We'll see you outside. To leave. Don't worry about it. I mean, I think... Like, my character got shot by her team, so, like, I'm... <laughs> Teen's I'm gonna just, teen. Yep. All right, Callum's gonna leave. Callum's gonna what? leave. What? <laughs> <laughs> stop it! I'm Callum, stop! I'm just messing with you. I feel so bad. It's We're just, having a good time. It's gonna, it's gonna take too long, especially now those rocks are like encroaching. It's making me so nervous. I can't <laughs> stop it. Great. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> fucking looking at me. Maybe what, you, you can oh, get no. back to the ship. Or actually, maybe you could start. Um, oh my god! Can you pilot the ship and blow a hole in the wall? Can Callum you? has <laughs> no. no. Yes. You should. Aim oh wait, no. He has piloting. He doesn't have engineering. Right. That ship's on the other side of the island. Yeah. Oh. Can you can you hop across the uh, the broken lands pathway? <sighs> Run all the way across the island, get to the ship, lift, have Howie help you, you know, activate it, and then lift off, come back, and blast a hole yeah, for yeah. us to escape. The, ca the camera zooms in on Callum's eyes in extreme close-up, and he looks up and he goes, I know what I have to do. And then he jumps out the window. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, though, that this is... We'll see is, you next round. The, the journey here and back is a rite of passage of the teens here. We have a teen boy. I'm a teen boy. <laughs> Go do it. <laughs> uh, all right, so you have the movement speed. It's 10 feet of movement to get out of the window because it's a little clunky, or you can try and do an acrobatics check, but you've got the movement if your only goal is to just get out. Yeah, I'm just going to, yeah. All right, so you just get out to safety as long as creatures don't come while you're outside Why alone. are you? Guess we'll have to find out. <laughs> now it is 
Lenaya's turn. Um, yeah, I thought the uh, I thought the uh, strategy from the captain made sense. Okay. I'm, I'm ready, Captain. She takes out her laser rifle and is ready to aim at the fire extinguisher. Well, you need someone to place it. Okay. <laughs> I like that you? you look at <laughs> you look Dax. At <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> it's Dax's turn. Linnea is readying an action when she sees the fire extinguisher roll into place. She will fire and presumably okay. miss. Step aside, Captain. Uh, Dax will squeeze by, click, grab a fire extinguisher off of Krez- Krezka's belt. Every captain keeps at least two fire extinguishers on their person at all times. So <laughs> captain's <laughs> manual. Uh, all right, so moving and then I manipulating that, that out. Back. That's your turn, yes? Or was he and within then dropping. Rich? Yeah, dropping. And then moving back. That's a lot of turns. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. Not. I'm going to move, take it out, drop, move again. And here comes the shot. Um, well, I mean, I have the movement. Dropping okay. is a free action. Okay. Yeah, you just walk up to something, drop, and then walk back. It's the pulling out of the bag. I know. I have the movement speed in one move action to... Oh, oh well, you're saying I can't manipulate as part of the move action. <laughs> right, right. So then my turn would be over. Right. At, uh, right next to Kreska. Yeah, uh, silly. Yeah. So, uh, all right. I'll just stand there with a fire extinguisher. I'm Don't not- shoot it yet! <laughs> really? Linnea just pointed right at it. So you just two feet a, away. Linnea, can you take? Can you place the? I guess nobody. We're all in this predicament, right? Yeah. It's move. All right, I'm not doing my that just on my turn. That's so stupid. You need more time. You can throw it. Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's roll it. Actually, roll it like a bowling. Yeah. Uh, bowling thingy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, it's so it's grab, round, right? It's grab, cylindrical. Uh, grab roll. Grab gotcha. Roll. All right, then I will finish my movement. Pa- this is well, gonna make it a harder shot. Linnea could grab and roll, and Dax, you could fire. Yes. Okay. All, All right, right, so switch it around. Switch it around. All you right. grab and roll. Because you don't have to move. Okay, you I'll, have... I'll grab and roll. That sounds fun. Oh, do right. I have to do anything? Yeah, roll uh, the, uh, D20. Let's see what we got. Oh. Uh, uh, what's the uh, skill check? <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. Just tell me what you roll. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a four. It'd be a your dash. Four total. No, we don't know what the skill is. What's the skill? skill? skill. Say the it's a, you're throwing. It's yeah. a range yeah. attack. It should be an athletic. Range attack against AC5. What? You got it. A ranged attack against AC5. Yeah, thrown, thrown weapon. Yeah. Is it a four a total or yeah. four yeah. with your... It's a four with my what? With your... She uh, rolled a four on the die. You right. got it. She it, got it. It's yeah. enough. You yeah. got it. Yeah. So it just ring, ding, 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 rolls right into place. That's you sh- lucky. You shoot? Yeah, Dax will step up, step past Kreska, and fire. Okay. Nice. AC5. Come on. Got it. Nice. Okay. It explodes. The wall opens up. Yes! yes! All right. Run, 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 run. Right, now we're in business. I need a new fire extinguisher. Go, 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 go. <laughs> it is now Qualo's turn. <laughs> that room looks like it's almost completely done, and you burrow a little further in. 20 inches into the wall now. Four and a half feet tall, probably about as uh, a little bit less. So I have like two-thirds of my body into the wall right now. There's a third of my shell sticking out the back, and my back legs are still exposed to the outside. And those two back legs are the ones that are not uh, mechanically altered by my my speed spanners. My front legs have like harnesses on them, and like all my tendons have been replaced. So, so most of you, well, a little more than half of you is through. Yeah, but some still... of the some of the most vulnerable parts of my body are out there. Think about it. It's going to take you a minute. It's only been 12 seconds. Yeah. So I think I only really need. Uh, three <laughs> feet, <in>. but <laughs> one half of one antenna is through the wall. Uh, uh, s- it's exactly <laughs> twenty inches. Callum, it's your turn again. Oh, because we, yeah. Um, <laughs> you're outside. Right. Do you do a little dance, knowing that you're going to be the leader of this new party when everyone else dies? <laughs> Shoot. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. All hail the child captain. <laughs> All hail All the hail child, child king. king. <laughs> Jinx. Dax um, will say uh, into his communicator when yeah. you say that you got out, he's going to say, is there a way you could find a way around to us and perhaps decay the wall from the outside? That is what Callum's going to do. Um, he is going to double move uh, all the way to this side of the building, to the uh, <laughs> west side. Okay. Give you a little reveal there. Okay. Cool. Um, and which horrible creatures? <laughs> oh, God. At that moment. No. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you had me, little Valley. Yeah. Uh, that's you got me. That's all I can do for now. And he says into the comm unit, I'm going to run around the back. Where is the uh, explosion, by the way? 
Uh, it is right schma. So right schma? Right schma. Schma. Okay. That's 10 it. feet away from Dax, 15 from Kreska, 20 from Linnea, 25 from Dr. Freeze. All right, so that uh, part of the wall is, uh, is open. Uh, let's see if I can put a little mark on it so you'll know which way you want to move. Move through. We'll go like, it's not very good, but... We'll get the job done here. All right, so that is open there. All right, you home guys see that? free. And uh, yeah, you should be fine. We're fine <laughs> right? now. It's uh, Dr. Friss's turn. Tung, 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 tung. You see the hole in the wall as the ceiling behind you and Qualo in it. Wow. Okay, so Friss, uh, he th- ran past his teammates with his hands over his head. Here's two explosions, and he whips around. And he darts through all of their legs uh, <laughs> and goes through into the room, uh, through the, op- the new opening, and double moves. Uh, so he gets uh, into the cubicles, like on the far side of the room, assuming he doesn't run into any more further new obstacles. You do, unfortunately, run into an obstacle. Oh, no. That obstacle is the minute you get into that space, everything is difficult terrain. The ceiling has become so bad in here from uh, falling onto the floor that every step is difficult terrain. Okay. Slowing you down. Okay. Um, so does that put you like five feet back, 10 feet back? Uh, wait, the, once I cross the threshold into the room? Once you cross the, the threshold, room? yeah. Oh, okay, so uh, that puts me 10 feet back. Okay. All right, Friss has made it through, but what new troubles await? It is now Kreska's turn. Kreska will follow the good doctor. So the difficult terrain begins basically at, right here, outside the room. Yeah, once you pass through the, uh, we'll say, yeah, right where Friss is standing is where the difficult oh, terrain okay. begins. So begins. One, two, are you slow or so are you fast? I'm faster than Friss, but I difficult terrain is difficult terrain, so. Yeah, it sure is. I can get there. I can get okay. just, like, one square past the good doctor. All right. Very good. Uh, very good. It is now Linnea's turn. Linnea, you got a hole there. Yep. Looks uh, like you guys are scot-free. Um, yeah, I can get also... Uh, my speed is 35, as established, so I can get... Um, what? As established. As established by the good winters. Um, <laughs> the good king winters. <laughs> <laughs> the benevolent dictator. So can, Long may he reign. I can. Um, Long I, may um, he reign. I, I don't. Uh, since Kreska is already standing there, as established as well, that I can't stand on the same tile. Right. I will be right behind the the doctor. Right behind the doctor. The doctor. It's Dax's turn. Oh, Daxie Sugar Gunga Goo. Gaga Gunga Goo. Uh, ooh. <laughs> Burn. Chicken and cheesecake. We are gonna survive. Maybe I'm hopeful. I'm, All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm willing to bet there's a third act to this horror. <laughs> <laughs> How uh, many acts has it been? Yeah. All right. Dax is, Dax is gonna move up uh, behind Linnea. Yep. Uh, he will. Let's see. So that's only 10, 10 15. 20, 25, uh, 35, 45, 50, 55. Um, actually, I'm sorry. Can I stand up there for a second and just look down this this hallway? The northern hall, is it the same? I mean, I didn't see the southern one, but is it clear except for difficult terrain the yep. whole way through? Looks like it. A lot of stuff on the ground, and as you're standing there, boom, boom, more pieces are just falling every second. Um, okay. One uh, lands right at your feet. Um... The toilet from upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Splashes all over you. <laughs> <laughs> Millennia old poo. <sighs> okay. Uh, then I'm going to move two more in. Okay. Uh, and that's my round. At that moment, a random piece of debris falls and hits one of the four of you. Oh, no. One, two, three, four. One. No, I. F- oh, you knew, right? I, you I knew, knew it. it had I knew to be. It, and also, I, th- I think that's probably like a die with just one. <laughs> right, it's all ones. Yeah, uh, I can oh. see it from here. It's three ones. Uh, two sixes, four ones, four d six. On a four sided die. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Thirteen, seventeen points of bludgeoning damage oh. as uh, oh, a second toilet 
comes down oh, and lands right on your head. It was just all toilet storage oh, upstairs. <laughs> upstairs was just the, <laughs> was the toilet, the toilet floor. It's okay. another company. It was just all toilet it's warehouse. so comical. Had to, they had to replace the toilets from somewhere. <laughs> who yeah, you know. who so, put the <laughs> piano factory above this place? Toilets, toilets, it's all, toilets. It's all toilets, pianos, and anvils on the second floor. <laughs> oh, man. She's covered first with from the jelly monster from outside uh, and now with the poop. Now with million-year-old poop. She loves yeah, it. Actually, she just loves it. She's just like again oh. taking her hand, <laughs> like wiping her mouth. <laughs> Grant's looking at me. He knows. Brutal. He knows something's coming. Oh no! At uh. that moment, that room completely caves in. No. And 10 d10 worth of bludgeoning damage is <gasps> rained down upon Koala. Oh no! I'm gonna do an online roller because. That's just too many D10s. Who has that many D10s? I mean, I do, but I don't want to fish them all out. Well, then you can't roll it. <laughs> Here we go. Roll a reflex save for half damage. Oh, you got this. You can get this. Dude, you can get this. <sighs> yeah, you just get those little You can duck into that little 20-inch uh, hole you've made. 13. <gasps> Grant, no! How many hit points do you have left? Fuck. Well, let me tell you what the damage is, because you guys didn't rest since the fight. You take 64 points of damage. I am two points into my hit points. Oh! Two points into your hit oh. points. Oh, okay. God. I thought you were like two points into below <laughs> my oh, HP. Oh, no, we, we I, did rest. We did. I we remember. We took a 10-minute. We, we, we took a 15. 15. We we took, we took, we Thank did. you to our kind captain. We took a 15. We took, took a tight 15. Not, a after tight, the, not after the mold, <laughs> Not after the mold The mold. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. oh, and the reason I didn't take any damage to that mold fight is because I was darting around and trying to get its attention, and you decided to go <laughs> after the other folks instead of me. That's right. You came after me, and... Uh, and you have 70 hit points. Stamina well, points. 70 stamina. Yep. You got Dang. it. You remember. I that's do. A, that's an iron trap up there, girl. It's like I listened to the episode today. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Koala. Say? I'm a professional. If this was anybody else, this would slowly crush you and suffocate you. Oh, my God. But you don't breathe. Yeah. Oh, wow. Right? Yeah, I don't breathe. So the worst thing that can happen is just time. Time. As you bury, and I got, burrow out. I got all sorts out. of food around me. That's <laughs> he right. eats Rocks! He's exactly, he's basically trapping he the pressure. Wait, wait, I'm at the all-you-can-eat buffet, man. Seriously. This is the sizzler. Wait, it's like I've been smothered by cheeseburgers. <laughs> wait, Joe, However, will I get out? What is he? Rocks. Well, he's last time you're like, rocks! <laughs> rocks! Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's thrilling. But will you be able to get out in time? <laughs> I thought you were going to make butt. Or will you take more bludgeoning damage? Are they tasty oh. rocks? Every minute? Oh, it's not just one <laughs> Is it fall? my turn yet? It's it is your turn. Flavor. All right, <laughs> so I am now literally over two feet into this wall. Uh, over my two feet? Yes. I am okay. 24 uh, seconds into a minute Okay. at the end of this round. All right. Which is at 30 seconds, I will be exactly halfway. two and a half feet. Right. You'll be halfway. Yeah. I am four and a half feet tall. I am not wider than I am tall. But I it's a minute for you to get through. No, it's a minute for him to move five feet. For me to move five feet. A minute for you to move five feet. Yeah, for okay. my entire body. But if you want to say it's a full square, sure. Right, yeah, okay. I have. The point is, you may yet survive. I hope. I hope. Let's move along to Callum. Callum, what do you want to do? Callum is going to uh, run up along the uh, west side of the building. Okay. Max speed there. What's your speed? Uh, my speed is uh, 30 feet. 35. Is it 35? No, it's no, uh, 30. 30. It's 30. Do my leapers add anything? Because then you, you can only move one space back there. For oh, nares. right here? Yeah. Sorry. The less preferable space for you to be into. Wouldn't, it ain't that just the way. Ain't that just but the you same. know what? Doesn't matter. Because... I think I can do what I want to do anyway. I just needed to run alongside the building. Okay. I'm going to reach out to the wall of the building. Take that wall! And I'm going to cast Entropic Ga Grasp. And I'm going to make a three by three foot hole into the wall. David, you like it? Uh, yes, it does read as such. An unattended manufactured item you touch crumbles into dust, rust, and decay. Yeah! So that right there yes. is worth Sydney's first bottle. Oh, yes! yes. yes. 
And that bottle cap is satisfactory. 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 Well Four done. Episodes. Well done. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, Ellie's man. both very happy. I'm, so happy. I'm just so Fury. impressed with <laughs> Sydney's gameplay. You know, it really is next level. Thanks I mean, so. it's just crazy after 100 uh, episodes <laughs> that you've uh, been able to earn your first bottle cap. What can I say? Building up. <laughs> Wanted to save it for the big 100. Yeah. Uh, all right. Tied with Ellie. <laughs> yeah, you're tied with Ellie. <laughs> your average is a little higher. Um, <laughs> Your per app average. <laughs> per app average. <laughs> per app. Per app. I am very happy for you, but I also hate people around this table right okay. now. Love Grant. you. Love you. Love you from across the table. Uh, Was it more bottle caps in play is better for everybody? The economy is thriving right I now. Ha- yeah. <laughs> You're going to average one every four eps, so by 196, you're going to have 25. Statistically, man, yeah. That's incredible. Right. Can you imagine if we had had Callum with us and, like, all along, though? He'd be dead. Uh, well, no, uh, yeah. Yeah, a thousand percent he'd be dead. Okay. Callum was with us all along. Yeah. In our hearts. There's a hole there for you guys to get out. Uh, Callum difficult. says, I made a hole. <laughs> I made a hole. <laughs> <laughs> I made a hole. I made a That's a great Just at the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's Dr. Friss's turn. You know... Pieces of the ceiling are randomly falling out. Difficult terrain, but now there's a hole. Okay, um, Friss, maybe he hears what's happening. Either way, like he would have gone uh, to the south. So um, to get closer to the, the doorway that he thinks is there. So he gets, he rounds the corner, scrambling under Kres- between Kreska's legs. And uh, coming around, he sees through the falling debris coming from the ceiling, the hole at the far end of this row of cubicles. Yes! Uh, and he moves, he's able to move along to the edge of this first row of cubicles, get right to the end of it, darting towards double move, uh, double moving towards this hole in the wall. A double move from getting out next round. Kreska, you're up. Uh, Kreska will do the same thing. She'll follow the doctor towards uh, towards the hole in the wall. Follow the doctor towards the hole. Linnea, how far can you get? Uh, yeah, same. Same as uh, everyone. Okay. You guys are all one Running. double move from getting out. Sprinting. Uh, Dax. Same thing. Run, 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 run. Piece of the ceiling falls. One, two, three, four. Frisk gets it this time. Doctor. Oh, the good doctor takes. Not bad. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven points of bludgeoning damage. As a random chunk hits. It's Qualo's turn. Qualo keeps digging. Two and a half feet in. Two and a half feet. What does it sound like? Qualo, 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 <laughs> Callum, hear it. your turn. You can now see your friends running towards the hole. Do you have a spell that closes it? Just say, ha ha! Suckers! I'm the captain. Psych! I'm the captain yeah. now. Psych. Um, I want to make sure everybody can fit through a three by three foot hole, I would assume. <sighs> that would be squeezing. Oh, does that slow that down? Won't sque- it won't slow Dr. Frist down, but it will slow the others. Wow. So, you know what? I'm just going to cast it again. Make it even bigger. Make it a six by six because why not? And I'll, you know what? I'll move up one space to make it easier too, and I'll I'll cast it again so the holes can join each other, and then I'll stick my arm through, and say run! Oh my god! That's cool. That's that awesome. And then we we see you standing on the other side of oh, it. That's awesome. His silhouette. The, the wall just crumbles to dust. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. really cool. <laughs> and on the next round, Friss, then Kreska, then Linnea, then Dax get out yeah. of the building. <laughs> Oh my god. And as the last of you gets out, it's, it just fully collapses. Oh. With Qualo left inside. Qualo, Qualo, come in. He fell. Qualo, do you read? Captain, I I think I'm getting closer. I'm still digging. Qualo, 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 Qualo. Qualo, 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 Qualo. 45 minutes later. <laughs> Qualo appears. Oh my God. I cannot believe it. He comes that. out like Bugs like Bunny. Bugs Bunny, yeah. Well, <laughs> the first I, I knew out. I should have taken that left turn at Albuquerque. <laughs> I knew we'd be fine. You I did? Knew. Wow. Did you, though? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> but I had a God. sense. I had a sense. Fuck. Blackout. We now hear the persistent ringing sound, a sound similar to a bell, but almost like an alarm. 
A door bursts open and several young figures emerge, all clutching bags, papers, and books. As the rush of the people running out of this room starts to trail off, we move inside a large lecture hall as the last few students rush out together. At the hollowboard up front with his back to us is a Lashunta man. You can see his writhing antennae. He turns around and we see that it's Meishan's father. Stanbach Vanya. He walks over to his podium to gather his things. And as he grabs his bag, a photograph drops out. It's a photo of Meishan. He stops and stares at it as his, his chin's quivering as he looks and, and goes to like shakingly, gingerly pick it up, his glassy eyes never moving from her face. A woman's voice pipes up from behind. Dr. Vanya. He turns around and says, oh, well, I'm sorry, are you teaching the next class? Uh, I'm sorry, we, we went a little long. Let me just gather my things. He starts putting everything together, carefully placing the photo inside his bag. An impeccably dressed young woman walks in. No, no, it's fine. I'm here to see you, actually. My name is Dr. Tandra Nakada. I work for a company who is very interested in your work. Steinbach is taken aback as he continues putting his things together. My, my work, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know what work you mean. Uh, the work you spoke about at the Kabarat University of Xenobiology and Xenoarchaeology recently with regards to memory and cloning. You read that lecture. That was merely theoretical. It would take an untold sum of money to accomplish what I posited. Well, that's why I'm here, Dr. Vanya. The people I work for have access to that untold sum of money. They look for projects exactly like yours that are on the cutting edge of science to subsidize, and they've chosen to subsidize yours, whatever the cost, if you're interested. Yes, he says without hesitation. What do I need to do? Clutching at the place where Meishan's picture lies in his bag. Just meet with my superiors at Absalom Station. When you're ready, call this number and we'll personally escort you there to discuss how we could make your dream a reality. I look forward to seeing you again, Dr. Vanya. She walks away. And Stanbach Vanya looks down at a card with a symbol that reads, Astral Extractions. Oh. And we'll see you real soon. <laughs> <laughs>